Hello guys, it's Mark here, back with another video. I just finished making a comparison of Rebox and Mapolos. Now, today on this video, it's gonna be dealing with my new Reebok, uh, classics. And how to lace them with swag. This is what the end result is gonna look like. It's gonna have that, uh, Diamond Criss Cross Nike SB kind of look. Uh, aka swag look. Be because the crisscross one and the uh, lace bar are getting kind of old. In fact, the lace bar looks gay. Sorry if you like van people, people with vans, uh, like the uh, like the bar style. I'm sorry, but looks gay. Um, this is a crisscross. I don't have any like vans with the uh, bar style. Like I said, I freaking hate them. So yeah, um, throw that shit on the side. So I'm gonna show you how to do the OG, um, OG like, uh, diamond style, swag style, Nike SB style, whatever you want to call it. So, um, before we go right ahead into this video, I want to say one thing. If you like restoring sneakers, or if you you get like a pair of sneakers and you like clean them and stuff, touch them up with Angeles, uh, which is a paint, um... And you got laces. Now, you can go to Walmart. I don't know. Dollar Tree. I don't know if they sell them at Dollar Tree. I don't know. Uh, get get you some new laces. Or if they're white and the only thing they have with them is dirty, just bleach them. Um, because, like, these are the original Reebok laces. Let me, let me focus into that. Uh, that is the original... A shoelace for the Reebok Classics. Um, I've had to change many laces before, and the Walmart they're not comfortable. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, on to the lacing. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your laces. You're gonna get them evenly, and you're gonna do the crisscross pattern backwards instead of going in and out you're gonna go no instead of going out and in you're gonna go in and out now here's a trick i like to do i like to get my shoelaces um let me just set up my camera oh it's sinking wow um technical difficulties um just wait a second okay there you go I'm pretty sure you can see right there. Oh god, tripods are crap. Oh, there you go. Perfect camera angle. Like on, like the video for it. Took me a couple seconds. So what I like to do is get them pretty even and square right there in the middle. And I pinch them really hard and make sure to have the lace up here in case... So it doesn't go all the way down. But uh, since. So there. You pull it up. All the way. Okay. Now here's a problem I've never ran into until today. And it's captured on YouTube. But um. Yeah. Anyways. Make sure they're still straight. I'm up here. Up in the sky. They're still pretty straight. Now. Here's a tip to do. Keep the laces straight. Because if they're all like side wobbled and nasty they're not gonna have any swag you're gonna have cheap swag and you want really cool swag not cheap uh so yeah like i said keep the laces straight don't like curve them up because um yeah but in not out the only time you're gonna come out is if you decide to put that inside the lace hole but personally, because, you know, this has a swag tongue right here, it needs to come out. It doesn't need to stay in, so, so yeah, um, so then, you're gonna, like, shit, camera angle, bro. Um, so you're gonna get it, you're gonna put it in. Um, another thing is, is if, if you're, like, Fuck. I forgot. You guys, you guys gotta, like, fucking... 
You ain't gotta judge me because, like, it's 12 or, like, 1. My brain doesn't function at that time. But, uh, yeah, see? Like, don't let them side wobble. Because that isn't going to give you side. Oh, yeah, what I was going to say. If shoes fit your... If shoes fit you too small or too big, if they fit you too small, um, this is what I'm going to do. Because these shoes are size 12, but they're not lengthy like size 12, so, uh, so I have to, like, adjust them. And I'll show you how to do that in a little while after I'm done lacing. But, um, yeah, if your shoe is too small... What you can do is, like, uh, mess around with the lacing until it feels comfortable and take out an insole. If you don't know what the insole is, I'll show you that afterwards. And, um, and yeah. So, remove the insole, um, and tighten the laces is how to make, whoa, how to make, uh, small shoes fit. Probably, if you're like a size 10, and you're like trying to fit your feet into size 7s, that shit ain't gonna happen. But like, if you're size 10, and you're gonna try to fit into size 9, or like 8, yeah, that, that probably will work. Just gotta keep my swag tongue out to see. But yeah, um, there you go. On the last one. Right about there there you go you got your cross wag let's make sure it lines up with uh this nah stuff side wobbly just let my camera stand my fucking god okay so i need to like i need to get these straight because they're not straight they're side they're side tumbling and i don't know no People with OCD, just like me, you you guys understand. Has to be perfect. But uh, yeah, so it's all wobbly, but you can always tighten it up. So, like I was saying, if shoes fit you too small, get your fingers and get into the lace holes or like lace space and pull out. And what this will do is give you a little bit more height in your shoe. Now, I remember saying I hate the Vans crossbar bar style. But now you're going to have to use it, or like a part of it. You're going to have to, um, uh, to, uh, well, fuck, I forgot. Um, you're going to have to lace your shoes up from behind the tongue. Because you don't want them to look ugly, you want them to have swag. So, I'm going to show you how you do it. And, uh, I don't have socks to throw on right now. They're all getting washed, so. And give a like for the paint smudge. I've been painting all week. But, yeah, um. So, what you're going to do is take your swag tongue out. Oh, damn. Damn, these things are tight. Um. You're going to pop it. You're going to pop that collar like it's 2001. Okay, now, this is the way I find out that uh, shoes stay laced for until forever. Uh, it's probably not the best way to tie shoes because it's not the correct way. But uh, I get my laces. Okay, got to make sure the swag tongue is out. Um... So yeah, and what I do, God, I wish I had like a freaking tripod that was big enough. Anyways, what I do is, um, yeah, let me just show you right here. Uh, what I do is I get, fuck, oh, fuck me, I don't know. You get these two, fuck, oh, I'll just show you guys, you guys can figure it out yourselves. Uh, what I like to do is get my shoelaces and get them like this and like get in the space. 
pull them back. Now this isn't like tying them completely. You might be like, oh, it's moving. Try to make it not move. And then repeat it again one more time. Pull as, oh shit, it's pinching me. Damn, well, pull as hard as you can. Then tuck it into your shoe. Like that. Tuck it into where no one can see. And then, you got your swagged out, sh you got swag, swag, you got your swagged out laces, it's right there, that might not hurt if it's like dangling like this, but um, yeah, remember to like, subscribe, comment what you thought about the swag lacing, did I do it right, did I do it bad, do I know how to tie my shoes, which I already know the answer, but, you know. So yeah, peace. Oh, and uh, I won't be posting for a week. Now videos are weekly, not daily. Peace.